Lawmakers at the state capitol are looking to find solutions to get more diverse teachers in the classroom. There is a wide gap between how many students in the classroom are black, indigenous, or people of color, and how many of their teachers look like them. Caroline Cummings reports on an effort to change that. Thank you, Mr. Um, Mr. Chair. Azamali is a fourth grader at Riverview Elementary in St. Paul. On Wednesday, she wasn't in class, but at the Capitol with a request. At my new school, they knew how to handle difficult situations because there are more teachers of color. Please pass the Teachers of Color Act so more kids can feel happy in their schools. Thank you. 37% of Minnesota students identify as black, indigenous, or people of color, compared to just 6% of the state's teachers. State lawmakers are trying to bridge that gap as research shows more representation positively impacts students. If the bill passes, it, um, I'd be really happy and other little boys or girls or older boys and girls would be having their first teacher of color. That's the goal of the Increased Teachers of Color Act, which includes benchmarks of increasing the number of BIPOC teachers by 2% each year. $100 million for grants and scholarships to help ease the financial barriers to teaching and hiring bonuses for teachers coming to Minnesota from out of state. First grade teacher Sarah Lancaster says she's seen the struggle firsthand as the only teacher of color in her whole district. Possible for one person or one type of person to show up for every child. And in order to provide rich learning experiences, for all of our students, we must ensure that the population of educators is as beautifully diverse as the students we teach. At the Capitol, Caroline Cummings, WCCO 4 News. Measures to increase teachers of color in the classroom has received bipartisan support in the past. This latest proposal is more expansive. It did advance out of a key committee today.